post spawn crappy fishing. Can be one of the best times of year or one of the worst. So in today's video, we're gonna to try to fix that for you because if you're not catching fish this time of year, you're doing something wrong. Uh, there's thousands and thousands and thousands in any lake you go to right now that are ready to come home and be dropped in the Crisco. So on today's video, we're gonna be going over exactly what these fish are gonna do so you can follow them, catch them, eat them up, make you some tacos, subscribe down below, Let's talk about it. What's going on guys, Steven Turner here with Turner Fishing. I have been crabbing fishing for over 25 years. I have faced every different spectrum of no electronics, some electronics, crappy electronics, and now I've had the courtesy of fishing over 15,000 hours with the best electronics in the world. And on today's video, I'm just gonna be giving you my advice on how to put more fish in your boat this time of year, no matter what you have. So, post-spawn fish, what, what exactly are they doing? My camera is like, whoo, let's go over here. Post-spawn fish, what exactly are they doing? Let's go over here, come on. Post-spawn fish, they're tired. You know, they, they've been up there, they're, they've been up there working. They just pulled a 16 hour shift and they got home and they need to go cut the grass. And they're like, ugh, I don't wanna go cut the grass. But then you're gonna have, you know, the 10 or so that's in that 100 group of fish on the brush pile you find, that it's, they're willing to go cut the grass. You know, then the other 90 of them, they're like, whatever, I'm just sitting in the air conditioner. I can get the grass later. But those 10 or so, that's what you're going to be focusing on. Because when you pull up to a dock, a brush pile, whatever, a bridge, this time of year, you're fishing for those 10. You're not fishing for the 500 uh, to a hundred or however many fish are on that dock, on that brush pile, on that bridge pile on, uh, whatever the case may be. You're fishing for the 10. Do y'all understand that? There can be thousands of fish this time of year, eight to 16 inches in a big old wad. And they're all doing the same thing. They're tired. They, they've been going through the spawn. They're gonna rest up for a little bit. You're gonna have a week or two that the fish do not bite. Like you can throw your whole dang tackle box at them and you might catch four or five. But here's the deal. You've got to jump in this run and gun thing, which we're gonna talk about here in a minute. But let's just go over real quickly exactly what these fish are doing. You know, these fish are back here in this pocket spawning. They're gonna move up to the next deeper structure, whether that be a dock, a dock pylon, a brush pile, and eventually making it to the bridges and you know this whole cycle is going to repeat itself throughout you know 70 to 78 degree water temperature uh yes they start spawning at 60 degrees but in most places you know you're well above 65 you're in the 68s to 70s by now watching this video and if you're not you know try to do that when it happens but the 70 to 78 degree water temperature you're going to have a buttload of males up shallow protecting the fry so you can still go up shallow and possibly catch some, but then you're gonna have the post spawn fish, which have pulled away from the fry, laid their eggs, yada, yada, yada. You've got last year's hack, you've got the year before that, because, I mean, a crappy keeper size only takes about 16 months. So it's kind of one of those things, like you can get an eight inch crappy in most fisheries in about 12 to 16 months. So you're gonna have a big old hatch from last year that have grown to keeper size that you just have to weed through to get to the bigger ones. But every brush pile you hit, if you find a depth that is just a sweet spot, like right now on Murray, 12 to 20 feet. If you're fishing a brush pile 12 to 20 feet, a dock that's uh, 12 to 20 feet, and that dock has held fish before or holds fish the majority of the year, there's probably thousands of fish under that dock as I'm making this video has been the case over the past two or three weeks on my live scope trips. You know, I did have one day, went out with a very nice couple and it was a struggle. We found probably 15,000 fish and you know, they just wouldn't bite. You know, we, we caught some, but the, with all the fish you see, it should have been a lot more. But that's just that one to two week period. And then it kicked starting a year 
went out with another client last week and I caught, you know, 10 in a row on a dock, you know, just trying to show him, you know, his live scope and everything. And they were just bam, 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 bam. And that's just how it is this time of year. So you got to run and gun, like I was trying to say, you know, a couple minutes ago. You want to hit a brush pile, see the fish on it, 2D, side scan, live scope, it don't matter. You'll see them. They're, they're stacked. They're in a big wad. They're on top of the brush. Uh, I will say, if you're scoping, try to stay 40 to 60 feet away from that brush if you want to catch a bunch off of it. But if you're just looking for the big ones, get up there, dial it back to 30, uh, drop one, drop one or two on the couple big ones that might be in that group, and then carry on. But if you're trying to get a limit, you know a lot of people just like to eat the fish. Stay back 50 to 60 feet, spot lock, shine over there, find the perfect cast, repeat the cast, and you'll catch a lot more doing it that way. But now, if you don't have live scope, find it with 2D, side scan, whatever, throw out your marker buoy and the same thing goes. Try to stay about 60 feet away, use a slip cork so you can try to find the perfect depth. It's really, really hard to control your depth when you're 60 feet out. Slip court eliminates that process. You know, if your brush pile is 10 feet under the water and 15 foot, you set the slip court to uh, four feet, five feet, and you're at the perfect depth, you're gonna catch fish. Simple as that. If you're fishing 20 feet of water, your brush, your brush pile is at eight feet, put your slip court at 11 feet, throw it at your marker buoy, and if they're gonna bite, they're gonna bite. And if they're not biting, Go find another brush, go find another dock, go find another bridge. Stop being lazy. This is not the time of year to be lazy. Get out there and spot lock and put minnows out. You've got to find active fish this time of year. They're going to be coming from those spawning pockets. They're going to find their next habitat. Like I said, dock, brush piles, whatever. They're going to chill on that. They're going to rest up. And then as the water temperature rises, these fish are moving. They're not moving fast now. They're gonna be on that brush for a little bit. But, you know, if you go from 70 degree water to 75, there may be a three, three foot difference of, hey, I caught them on this 12 foot brush pile in this creek. But the next day they were on this 15 foot brush pile in the creek. And yada, yada, yada. And you're gonna make your way to the summer pattern. Now, I know that's a lot to take in at one time. So I'm just gonna recap everything that's gonna happen in the next month. Fish spawn, get up there, do the dirty. All right, they're done. They're tired, they're gonna come out. First piece of structure that is, you know, likable to that person or fish. I think a fish is people, whatever. That fish is gonna come out. Well, hey, this brush pile looks pretty daggone good. I'm gonna chill here for a minute. And then all his buddies gonna chill with him, they're gonna drink a beer. All right, then I got drunk, whatever, passed out. They're gonna move to this dock. Well, the dock's shady, it's getting a little warm. Let's, let's go chill under here so the bass don't eat us. They're gonna chill on that dock, all right? Well, dang, it's getting hot again. Then they're gonna move on to a little bit deeper water. And et cetera, et cetera, until they find that one thermocline spot where they're gonna chill all summer. I mean, yeah, they can move from dock to dock, to brush pile to brush pile, but there'll be a certain range of depth in the summertime that are just better than others. But take everything I just said and put it on loop. Now, what does that mean? Come on, come on. Post-spawn, spawn. No, pre-spawn, spawn, post-spawn, post summer, winter. No, no, no. We're, we're going to cut the winter out right now. You're going to go pre-spawn, spawn, post-spawn, summer. All right, every single spot that you catch them except the spawn. So we're going to eliminate the spawn. Pre-spawn, post-spawn, summer. There's going to be a loop of fish that are still doing this until you get that water temperature in the high 80s. You're going to have pre-spawners, post-spawners, and summertime fish all making a lap. Fish goes far and they come out, new new fish goes far. They come out, new fish goes spawn. They come out. Those fish hang out on 12 foot. The fish that's been hanging out on 12 foot is gonna go to 15 foot. The fish that's hanging out on 15 foot to go to 20 feet. The fish on 12 will go to 15. 
I think that's about as much sense as I can make it. <laughs> but if you're in a creek and you're finding fish, just follow them out, catch your limits. Now, what should you be throwing this time of year? That's a big question that deserves a small answer. The little minnow, that's all you need. Crappy man green little minnow, monkey milk little minnow. Hell, I sell, I don't even know how many colors anymore. I don't, uh, I'm a bait maker. Like, I want you to buy every single color I have, but I do want you to catch fish. Crappy man green, monkey milk, 164, 132. You need a four slot tackle box, and that will last you the entire summer. And if they're not biting that, they're not gonna buy anything else you're gonna buy. 100% I will put my money on it. And not just cause I make them. Now you can go buy a chartreuse or a monkey milk from another company if you feel happy with them. You may have to put on a jig every fish, but catch a whole lemon on one of them. And you know, they only, only like $4 for 20 of them. So that's 20 lemons. But anyways, that's how you're gonna get them this time of year. Stay away from the brush pile, stay away from the docks. Follow the loop, find the fish, and they will find their way to the frying pan. <laughs>